Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. Hurricane Ada made landfall yesterday across Nicaragua. Since then, it has weakened into a tropical storm, and it's really been moving very slowly, still dropping some torrential rains across portions of Nicaragua up into Honduras. You're seeing more of that deep convection still out over the water. So we still have a tropical system that is going to continue to cause some widespread issues across Central America. There you see the center is only about 145 miles away from the coastline. So it really has not moved all that much, moving very slowly onto the west right now at seven miles an hour. And it has weakened to winds of 45 miles an hour, but really the biggest threat right now will continue to be just all the heavy rainfall that comes out of this over the next couple of days. Now, you look at this forecast track, and we've been talking about this for a couple of days, it working its way back into the Caribbean, either the remnants of the storm or the depression, whatever is left of this storm does look like it has the potential to possibly regenerate back across the Western Caribbean, back into a tropical storm, head towards Cuba. And that's where things start to get really interesting, then turning back to the north and the northwest. And at this point, putting it uh, on Monday morning off the southwest coast of Florida. So you look at all the various computer models, and remember we talked about at one point there, doing some loops across the Caribbean. Now with the ridge moving by, then the trough developing into the Gulf of Mexico that helps to pick this storm up and move it more towards the north. And we're still getting some, some widespread in these computer models. So all the exact details of this are still really low confidence at this point. Will it affect Florida? How much will it affect Florida? Will it even make landfall on Florida? All these things are still questions that have to be answered over the next several days. You look at the European in the GFS, and in the, in the big scheme of things, they have the same idea. But then you start to look at some of the details, and you can see the GFS is further to the east. The European keeps it off our southwest coast, but then it moves it back into the Gulf of Mexico and then potentially up towards the panhandle as we head into next week. But remember, we're talking a long ways off at this point. This is next week at this time, so we're seven days away. So obviously, anytime we're talking about that longer range of a forecast, there's going to be a lot of uncertainties and there's going to be a lot of changes. And that's exactly what we will see with this. But certainly this is something that we have to pay attention to and continue to track as we go through the rest of the week and into the weekend. We'll keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.